Ooh, getting nowhere near that one. <laughs> oh, that's unplayable. Ooh. And there's four. Up ish again through the covers. Oh, straight down the ground. Hello and welcome to another Cricket VR episode. Today, I'm presuming this is going to be a quite a short video because I'm going to attempt to play the ultra insane bowling and play with 10 wickets on a bouncy pitch. So let's go straight into it, shall we? Let's go. We could have ultra insane bowling on a nice sunny day. Unlimited uh, overs. 10 wickets, please. No bat shield, of course. And we can open up as usual with Alastair Cook and Graham Gooch. The only other problem I have is my battery is running quite low, to be honest. And I think I've probably got about half an hour's playing time. So if I actually um, survive half hour, I'll be very surprised. Ooh, Christ, that's gone through at 95 miles an hour. There's a first boundary of the match. That's 96.66 mile an hour on the front foot, off the middle of the bat, through the covers. There's four. Ooh, getting nowhere near that one. <laughs> Couple of runs there. The left arm fast bowler gets me out quite a lot. It normally pitches middle and hits my leg stump with the with the in swinger or the the leg cutter. Sorry, off cutter. Sorry. But we're gonna go try and get some as many runs as we can. There's a quick single. Anything pitched up and get that big front foot out there. Ooh. <laughs> Just trying to smother as much of the movement as I can. Ooh, bold. Well played. Managed to get over the top of it. That's 94.6 miles an hour. I think I'm just going to score runs by defending for a while. That's nine off two overs. But it's, it's the medium bowlers or the medium fast bowlers that will get the wickets in this mode. Because I do move the ball a hell of a lot. <sighs> to be honest, it's normally the uh, deliveries that come back into me that get me out. Anything, that, anything I can uh, leave or moves away, I can normally smother. Oh, I played at that as well. It's just a case of trying to survive as long as possible. And score some fluky runs in the process. A big flash. Over the top of the slips. Four runs. Oh, I've played a miss again. 15 without loss, and it's the left armour again. Tall left armour. Oh, and it's gone straight over the top of the bookkeeper. Four buys. And there's four. Hopefully. Come on the ball. It's three fielders after it. It's not going to make the boundary rope. It's just a three. That should be four, though. That is. Edge. And another four. It's gone down to the fine leg. Sorry. Sorry, bowler. Massive over so far. Edge, another four. <laughs> Look at that edge, inside edge. So the field has changed. They've put a man down to fine leg now. The slips are still there. And oh, no, that's not going to be number four, surely. It's just going to be three. Another edge. Ah, oh, it's another four as well. Fine leg is uh, taking a batter in with the inside edges. Oh, that's unplayable. Well, well, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm supposed to play a ball coming towards a leg stump and actually goes over the off. Ooh, 
Oh, he's gone for a pull. Missed it. Bold. Yep, that's going to get me all day. Every single time that ball... Any, any time that ball's delivered like that, I'm going to get out because I'm, I'm always playing across. So it's, I'm never going to get the bat on that. So Cook goes for 31. 37 for one. Robin Smith's next man in. There's another one. I've just managed to read that one. That's short enough to read and get a bat on it. That's another one. Come on. Yeah, I need to work on that. That's the ball I'm going to be struggling with in this mode. Um, even on the bouncy wicket, anything that moves in towards me is going to bowl me. another one see yeah I'm struggling big time here that was an inside edge hmm this could be a very short video oh that's up ish but it's gone for four master have, have to really capitalize on anything pitched up edged over the top of the uh, gully area before I don't know where that's gone. That's out, just missed the off, outside edge, I think. Up ish again through the covers, or over the top of covers for four. Brings us to 50 for three. Ooh, bowling. Just got over that one. And a quick single to mid off. 10 off the over. No. <laughs> ah, yeah, this, this guy's going to get a lot of rickets. Both of them's next man. Stokes bowled for five. I'm quite happy against the tall left armour. I'm able to score a few runs. Anything pitched up, I'll take as many runs as I can. Bowling, that's grabbed me up, turned me around. But I'll take a single. Ooh, there's another four. That's not. <laughs> it's just going to be three. Ooh, that's the perfect bouncer. That's hit the handle of the bat. Look at that. As you can see on the screen, it's literally hitting my face. Well bowled. Oh, straight down the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Yeah, that's not right, is it? Need to move the feet forward, not just across. So both of them have gone for four from nine deliveries. Flintoff's next man in. I think I can see everyone's averages starting to fall. Oh, it's gone over real, and it's going to be caught first ball. It is. Flintoff's gone. Golden Duck. Butler's next man in. Let's just try and survive a few more overs at least. It's gone over the top, surely it has. Four buys. I think buys might be top scorer. <laughs> oh, Christ, that's a good delivery. So the top score so far in this ultra, against the ultra bowling, ultra fast bowling, 165. I don't think we'll get anywhere near that today. Unless we uh, get a lot of edges like that. Bold. Yep, can't play that one. Uh, pitching towards the leg, hitting the off stump. Butler's gone for four. David Gower. He's going to try and rescue the innings. Oh, not like that's not. Quick run there. We go on to 70 for seven. Oh, there's another great bouncer straight into the head.
and we'll try and get four in revenge, but it's not going to quite reach the boundary. Bit of an edge just for two. Oh, there's another bouncer. Flies away again. Four buys this time. That's four. Pitched up. Par volley. Need to take advantage of those. 15 overs gone now, and we are 76 for seven, trying to get towards 100 at least. Oh, that one's dollied up, but safe. Oh, that's another one that's pitched, left me, bowled me. Luckhurst is the next man in. Can we get to 100? Can we save? A bit, a bit of respect. Oh, I've got a spinner. Unbelievable. Right, this is the, I think this might be the first time I've played against a spinner in the insane bowling mode. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, I'm going to struggle. <laughs> this is not going to be done by speed. It's going to be movement again. So the idea is just to get a big stride to the pitch of the ball. And defend as much as I can. And I've got the headset the battery is low notification, so I've probably got about five to ten minutes left. And I'll play a streaky edge past the, past the keeper who missed it completely in another four as we edge towards a hundred. And it's, oh, caught out. I have no idea what that was. That was me looking to it over the top, then changing my mind halfway through the shot. So Graham Thorpe is the last man in. So let's try and get to 100. Let's knuckle down, save the embarrassment of not getting 100. Just playing a little bit too early right now. Through the gap? No, not quite. So maybe another maiden is on the cards. Nope, oh, I've missed it. Played too early again. Chose the wrong line. Didn't uh, negate the outside edge. And uh, we are all out for 83. So as predicted, nice short, <laughs> nice short uh, video. Um, I actually got nowhere near my high score of 165 against this uh, hostile bowling um, but 14th on the weekly scoreboard nowhere near anything on the all-time high leaderboard right if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and uh, like the video subscribe leave your comments below nothing too nasty <laughs> right cheers cheerio and uh, I'll see you again very soon cheers bye bye